Hello everyone, welcome back to Supra Land. Last we left off, we got the purple MacGuffin, which is like a uh, contracting, retracting, grappling hook thingy. So uh, we will now use this to solve all of our problems and every puzzle that gets thrown at us flawlessly. Uh, I don't actually remember how it... Uh, how it works here. Hmm. I know how to shoot it, but how do I... Oh yeah, left trigger. There we go. So it's pretty uh, simple to use, which is nice. Keep in mind that the force beam is not a rope. Pull yourself through the roof once, then use your triple jump to get over. Okay. Where does that pipe lead down there? You know what? I'm curious. Where do you go? Oh, you just shoot me back here. Okay, so you're just a way to get back. If I need it. Um. Hello? There we go. I don't know why it wasn't working. Maybe that means it's not close enough. Here we go. Ooh, does it work on this? Uh, I can't tell. Hmm. Evidently doesn't work like that. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Yeah, I'm stupid, I know. But that's all just in an episode of Superland. It really wouldn't be the Superland series without me being an absolute fool. Oh, you can control. Oh, that's neat. You can connect two things. Yeah, that'll be, uh, that'll be used in some puzzles at some point, I assure you. Alright, so yeah, this is cool. Um, I don't think there is anything up there. I hope not. Mm-hmm. And what are you? Oh, you're, ju you're just where I was just at. Now try to connect both wood blocks with a beam, then walk over it. Uh, okay. So, and then... Boom? No? Yeah? We tightrope. Oh yeah! Wow, this is a this is a super cool power actually. Quite enjoyed that one. Hmm. What's the deal with you? Not sure actually. This song's nice. I enjoy this song. Hmm. Does that not work? Hmm. Are you something I can know? Maybe. Ooh. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I can. No. I was thinking maybe that I could uh, use that to kind of pull myself up there, but no, it doesn't work like that. Alright, well, let's leave that little conundrum for now. Don't think we're going to be making any progress there, not with my feeble intellect. So I'm not sure how far we into the, are into this video now, but so far I've only had to cut once for a cough. We're getting better. Mm-hmm. And what do you do, sir? Uh... No. Oh. I think I see. Um... There we go. We can use this to... 
Can we? Yes, we can. That's neat. I like that. Huh. Yeah, music is uh, oddly quiet here. I'm making sure I had my uh, whoop, audio turned up. To eliminate the beam, tap the fire button once. Yeah, I've already figured that out. It'd be kind of hard to get here without knowing it. Um, okay. I see why he told me that, but what's over here? Seemingly nothing. Alright. Tally-ho! Uh, whoopsie. Okay, maybe if I stand here and do it this way. Yeah, no, that didn't work. Okay, this is going to, uh, take some doing. No, stop that. There we go. What? I did press right trigger to eliminate beam. Must have, uh... Must not have taken my input. There we go. Uh, okay, maybe... Maybe... Uh, huh. I thought I would have to go up there and click it and then do that. Yeah, but... Hmm, I'm clicking it too fast. <laughs> or it's uh, doing the connection thing. Huh. Whoops. That didn't do. Hmm. See, it's... Yeah, no, I'm doing that, but, uh... When it puts me up there... See, it, it keeps trying to connect to the one I'm already at, which is not what I'm trying to do. And if I click right trigger when I get up there, sometimes it just fails the input. There we go. We made it. Yeah, that was a little finicky, but nothing too... Nothing too awful. Wow, we have ourselves a little gauntlet here, don't we? That is too far. Nothing in the environment. Oh, wait. I wonder if that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah, that was what I was supposed to do. Now we're combining our other powers. What do you have to say, Top Hat Man? You can walk on your beam at very steep angles. Neat. Oh, yeah. No, nah, that's steep. That is steep, all right. Okay, this is going to uh, this is going to create even more puzzles that I'm going to have just a lot of trouble with. Just see tons of trouble coming out of uh, this particular new item. Hmm. Why doesn't it just Why does it just not work sometimes? Like you? Oh, am I outside of the range? I guess. No. There we go. Yeah, it might have been outside the range. I'm not really sure. There's no indicator for how long the range is. I kind of just have to guess. The beam can pull light objects together. Connect two wooden boxes. Yeah. Yeah, I found out about this earlier. Um. Hmm. What am I actually connecting, though? Yeah, I know. You don't have to keep repeating yourself, sir. Hmm. No, that doesn't work. There we go. Alright, so 
what do we have over here? Hopefully those are the only two cuts we have. Ooh, can I pull trees together? Huh. Tree isn't... Even though it's wood, it doesn't seem to be a surface I can actually connect to. Interesting. This seems very much like an area just to teach me how to use this new item, so I don't actually think there's going to be very many secrets here, because... Who would come back, I guess? But hey, I'm ready to be wrong about that. We have a mirror puzzle here? Oh no. What do you do? Okay, you summon a... That... Guessing this calls a platform? Or not? Hmm. Weird. Oh, it is coming. It's just coming very, very slowly, apparently. Alright, I can't wait to see what kind of crazy stuff they have me do with this one that I'm not going to be able to solve. Hello. I can't connect you. Yeah, it seems like it's just wood that uh, I can connect this to. Do you hurt me? Oh. You make a super ball shoot out. Interesting. What's up with this weird floor texture that's just uh, kind of coming up. Odd. Is there a reason for this? It just kind of shoots me up and that's it. That is all she wrote. Huh. Well, at least now we know what those uh, things do. I thought they were... Uh, I didn't think there would be like triggers. I thought there would be something else. Okay. Okay, so you... make that respawn. Hmm. I can only imagine I'm supposed to... Aha. Yeah, that may be when I'm supposed to, uh, yeah, just get out of here, Super Bowl. For now. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't work. I thought I was going to connect the wooden side of the platform to, uh, the cube. That was not the case, though. Okay, so, ooh, what are you? Okay, so yeah, you're just where this, where I assume I need to get this. Hmm. And then this is a whole other thing. Yeah, okay, so I assume I have to get the cube here. And then potentially... Yeah, because I can't trip it myself, but what would it do if I did? It would shoot me up there. I assume that's progress. So yeah, I think I need to have the cube kind of uh, sitting up there. And that will uh, trip this. And keep it tripped. Yeah, because if you just do that, then it just turns on for a second, and then that's it. There's also a key that I can get for this door somehow. I imagine that's probably the puzzle over here with the super up ball. There's also that. I don't... I don't know what the deal is with that either. Well, that connects right there. So what does this go to? Oh. This door, seemingly. All of these puzzles usually have so many parts to unpack. It's pretty interesting, actually, but... When you're awful at it... Oh! 
I know how to do this. I learned how to do this. Yeah. Wow, it was much easier that time. Yeah. Neat. Using our past knowledge. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, that's too far. Whoops. Okay, so we're gonna... Evidently, we're really going to have to learn how to do this. Okay. Cool. Anything? You look suspicious. Eh, let's leave it alone for now. Hopefully this uh, gives us that key. That would be very fortuitous. Hey, speak of the key and he shall appear, or however that saying goes, I don't know. But we have the key, so we can open this door be something cool. Yeah. I was I was thinking for a second, I was like, well, it might just be a part of the puzzle, but uh that would have been boring. There's also a little lip there. I wonder if you could have gotten to that just by jumping from that area. Okay, so now we're back to this problem. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I see that. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that's what we have to do. I just have absolutely no idea how to go about doing it. As is usually the case with these puzzles. It's mostly just me sitting here humming and eyeing and till I finally uh, find a way to solve the problem. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, boy, it goes really slow, doesn't it? But there is wood on the sides of it for a reason. I just have to find out a way to actually get it to connect. Hmm. I sit here and make fun of myself for uh, basically just hmming, hawing at the uh, puzzles here, and that's exactly what I'm doing. But yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a tough problem. Like I said, I am pretty sure that it's that. So I really can't think of a way to see in there. Because I need to be slightly lower to be able to do that. Hmm. Let me try this. Uh, that might be doable, actually. I guess it would probably terminate the uh, chain, though, if I got too far away. Okay, is there anything I can do with this? Not really. At least not here. No. Okay, does this do anything for me? Is there an opening up here? No. I don't think this allows me to, uh... Whoops. Well, I don't think there's anything up there, right? No. Okay, little crate. I think I'm going to uh, skip really quick, and uh, I'll be right back when I find out the solution.
Hello everyone, okay, I have found a solution. I have already solved uh, this particular part, but I went ahead and respawned the cube so I could show my process. So we're going to want to bring them over here. We're going to want to connect them right there. We're going to want to go ahead and uh, start these bad boys on their voyage. And uh, I wasn't sure if this would actually work this way or not, but yeah, that little uh, streak kind of pushes. Uh, which, I, I don't know, I, I wasn't thinking of that because um, if the, uh, when I was testing everything, if the streak uh, hits a wall or anything, it, um, it, like, gets rid of the streak or the connection or the chain or whatever you want to call it. So, I just, I, I don't know, I wasn't thinking that was going to work, but it did. So, there we go. And now we connect that. Uh, whoops. Okay, so yeah, I see what we have to, uh, do here. I think, I think we put that right there. We connect you with you. Whoops. You and you. And we walk over here. Stand right in front of this. There we go. We're activating trip wires, we are. Huh. What is the point of you two? Hmm. Okay. Oh. Yeah, let's spawn our cube. That does not count. Uh, let's see. Okay, and what did that connect with? Let's see. Yes, yeah, so this is once again a case where we have to have it always blocking that, I suppose. Hmm. Well, we certainly can't bring this... this with us. Because we need it to activate the launch pad. So there must just be something I'm missing up there. Wow, it just doesn't work sometimes. Guessing because it has a block in the path, but there. There we go. just need a way okay maybe maybe I just didn't put this maybe I just didn't put this high enough maybe now that it's higher the cube will be at the correct level yes okay yeah no that was a dumb mistake to make but hey we solved it so now we can just walk our happy ass over here it looks like we've made it with the force beam, you can now get into Blueville. Follow the signs. What's over here? I see a secret. Money! Find something I seemingly can't get to. Oh, wait. No, you're not. Oh, hello. Secret area. We got ourselves some big coins. I hope they have a shop here, actually, because I have a lot of money. Alright, I think that's good for this episode. I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.